but because that is what you experience, that is your intimate conviction. You don't change the world by rules, by creating more regulations. You change the world by changing yourself. You don't go on the outside, in the streets, feeding the poor and uh, taking care of the sick and <coughs> everything that Christ did command us to do. You do those things by going deep down. You do those things by... You see, there are these images which, you know, we can agree to or not. It's completely irrelevant, but they are useful for us now, of the church being um, a tree with several branches and uh, two, three, four, a uh, hundred, it really doesn't matter. A monastic will not look to the branches. That's essential. A monastic will try to go down in the trunk. A monastic will not try to, to work on the outside of, of the church, but to go down in its center and change its blood so to say. And if you change that, then you change the composition of the whole church, of the whole tree. It's not, obviously nothing that, you know, lay people do is wrong. I don't want to say that in any way. And this is a talk about monasticism, so I'm talking about how a monastic sees things. When you go deep down in yourself, there is something in you that you can identify in everyone else. The same worries, the same fears, the same doubts, the same moments of losing your faith, the same um, horror in front of death and the idea of disappearing. And all these things are common to everyone. And if you heal them in yourself, then you can heal them in everyone else. So, in that way, what a monastic <coughs> does in his or her cell is completely relevant and vital to the whole humanity. I feel that it, when I spread myself in ten or a hundred practical things I'm trying to do to benefit others, I'm actually losing myself. I'm actually losing my center, somehow. But when I run away from those things, and I focus on prayer, then I find my center. And from that center, I can change the world as well. Not on the outside again, but deep down, like it's blood. I, be I believe in this idea of the world having blood. You know, St. Paul talked about the humanity of the church as being one body, and we are all various limbs. Well, I think monastics just change the chemical structure of the blood. And by doing that, you're actually changing the whole world. That, that to me, is the essence of what a monastic is doing. Um.